by now, astronauts and captains Mark and Scott Kelly have had their share of countdowns. But today, Pleasantdale Elementary and West Orange did two more. One to take the wraps off the new school sign with the painting of Mark and Scott in a spaceship. How know. do you know this guy's the guy in charge? <laughs> and one to cut the ribbon on the grand opening of the school they attended that now bears their name, Kelly Elementary. It's exciting, I mean, to be here, obviously. It's a great honor. The Kellys say they never imagined their elementary school would ever be renamed in their honor. The district says renaming the school was a no-brainer. We unanimously welcome the opportunity to honor and recognize our most distinguished alumni. Family, friends, and former classmates watched and welcomed the renaming and remembered the identical twins. It was obvious from the start that they would really go on to achieve great. No, they were knuckleheads. <laughs> very, very good guys. The Kelly's mom was the first female police officer in town in the 70s. A former teacher recalls a conversation with her. She was a little concerned because she told me they had no fear. I saw it more as a curiosity and a willingness to look around and see what's there. Years later, both Mark and Scott would explore space for NASA after their Navy careers. Scott recently sent images and did a talk back from space with the school from his mission that set the American record for consecutive days aboard the International Space Station, 340. Amazing. Mark Kelly said school at first was a struggle, and he shared how practice, perseverance, and pursuit of dreams can pay off. How good you are at the beginning of anything you try is not a good indicator of how good you can become. A lesson the high school swim coach said the Kellys lived by. So they came in not knowing much at all about not swimming? Much, you no, know, not much. And uh, when they left, they were, you know, the cornerstone of the program. If we expect little of them, they will achieve little. If we believe in them and we expect a great deal of them, they will achieve a great deal. Scientists say Scott's record-breaking trip laid the groundwork for something bigger. Hopefully one day, hopefully in my lifetime, I'll see one of you guys or girls step foot on Mars. Mark, a huge advocate of public education, says it's possible. The money we invest on education, it's, it's the best dollars the government can spend. The Kellys say, here's the proof. In West Orange, Michael Hill, NJTV News.